That's right, I have a floating platform. What of it? Hey everybody, what is going on? I am me, you're you, and this is a redstone tutorial on how to create a floating, moving platform. So, how do you create such a incredible, wonderful device, you ask? It is rather simple. All you need is this. So, the first one we'll look at is the actual platform itself. It can be any blocks you want, although I recommend a glass block in the middle, for reasons I shall explain later. It needs to be an odd number by an odd number, because it needs a centre block. And it needs to be at least one block above the ground, for again reasons I should explain later on. Moving on to the actual commands themselves, the first thing you'll need is a pretty quick redstone clock. And that can be done by using two command blocks, this one and this one. In this command block, you will need to put in this command, and this command block will be this command. I won't explain what it's doing because you're not really here for that, but if you type in those commands in the correct command blocks and then put a redstone block in the middle, then it will work and it will all be good. So moving on to the main command, we'll be using execute and clone. As you can see here, we have a 3x3 platform and we actually need to center it at the player. And that is what this part here is for. It will execute it at the player, and then two blocks back and two blocks to the left. Uh, depending on the size of your platform, you're going to need to adjust this, of course. Anyway, onto the clone command. We're not only copying the platform, we're also copying the air around it, which is why it needs to be one block above the ground. It's because we need to remove any blocks from the previous platform. So yeah. Anyway, so our first set of coordinates is the bottom left of the platform. And you need to make sure it's in positive X and positive Z. And then our top right corner is our next set of coordinates here. And then of course the first set of coordinates is just where the command is actually being done. And this is the final result. If you want to go up, you can jump, and if you want to go down, you can stand in the middle and break the block. This is why I recommend a glass block in the middle. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye. I don't know. That's why, because he was very close. All right, we'll go take out this tower over here next. Let's move. Dun 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 dun. And a dragon. Hi. Dun 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 dun. All right, we'll heal up first because these things are explosive. Have some Lucasade before I start recording.